Very well To the love forged in this ground Very well Don't look back, just make them proud No matter where I go Can't let go To the heart of my hometown Excellent. Very nice. Yeah. Paul here at Music Villa. And very happy to be here today, Slahetka, as uh, traveling the U.S. right now. Yeah, on Doing tour, something. finishing up a uh, U.S. tour right now in beautiful Bozeman, Montana. Awesome, and you're playing tonight down at Live from the Divide, another great venue in town here. Yep. Uh, you're on tour. You're also spokesperson for Bose on a lot of their new products. So yep. today we're looking at, and I'm glad you came by because this, these have come in, and they're awesome we love them. Uh, super cool. This is the Bose S1, correct? The S1 Pro. S1 Pro. Okay, yeah. so two channels, basically a mic, two mics or two guitars, uh, and also an iPod input. But yeah, third channel is the Bluetooth, yeah. Third channel, yeah, Bluetooth, run an iPod. But a two-channel little PA, uh, it's it's so cool. Um, we've, we've been testing it out the last couple of days, and uh, I'll let you talk more about it. We'll just give you a kind of a brief, you know, description of it. But it sounds amazing. Battery powered now. Yep. All of them come with the battery. You recharge it. You charge it. It'll go for 10 hours, 11, 11. hours. 11 hours. And it's incredible. So um, let's hear some guitar. So you're on channel sure. one. The thing that's really cool about this system is that they've integrated a lot of their other, you know, PA technology. Um, uh, basically, what, what you have here is they took the articulated array idea from the Bose Compact, and they took three of the driver speakers from their F1 series. So the, the front of it is basically that articulated array, and then they put those in front of a traditional woofer. So with the L1 units that you get between the Compact, the L1 Model S, or the L1 II, you have a 180 degree sound dispersion ratio. And with the S1 Pro, you get 100 degrees of sound dispersion. So it's it's really great. You can have it on the side of you. People that are kind of set up, you know, in like a semicircle type of vibe will get the same mix wherever you're at. Yeah. And, um, you know, the thing that I love about that setup is it's particularly for acoustic guitars, it creates a really nice warm compression to it. And I've always been really, really picky about, you know, running acoustic guitars through PA systems. And I think that it just really, really has a great representation of how a, a guitar sounds even unplugged, yeah. you know? And, and even in the back of the room. We noticed yep. earlier you were playing, you go to the back of the room, you can hear it really well. You come up front, you're not getting your ears blown out, and it sounds yep. it sounds great. Yeah, and um, another thing they also integrated from, you know, the L1 technology, their, their mixing boards, they call their tone match uh, board. Um, they've integrated that technology as well. So within the first two channels, you can engage the tone match for either a vocal mic or an acoustic guitar. And that's usually like if you have a mic or an acoustic guitar that you know isn't cutting through the mix or you're having a hard time dialing the EQ in, if you engage that, it's going to significantly enhance like the mid-range and, and pr particularly the high uh, range of that EQ. Yeah, so there's kind of just a little preset on Yep. There. Okay. But right now, I don't have it engaged at all. I think yeah. I've got a Martin OM28V with a Fishman Matrix. I think it just sounds really nice and warm sounds great. with it. And both those two channels have reverb, and a two-band EQ between bass and treble. And the third channel, like we were talking about, is a Bluetooth channel. It's got an eighth-inch input, so if you are a solo musician that you know uses backing tracks and stuff, you can also use that. Um, a lot of people will pick these up, too, for like home theater, home entertainment yeah, situations. So yeah. if you do karaoke or something like that, um, and you know the Bluetooth, is, it's just a great option to have for whether you're just using it as a stereo or hooked up to your television yeah. or computer. Goes on a pole, tilts back, Tilts on the side, it, it's it's great. Let's yeah. uh, let's hear you. Uh, tell sure. us, so tell us, uh, you got a new album. You're you're doing a U.S. tour. Uh, yeah. You're playing in Bozeman tonight. Play us a little a uh, little something, and we'll uh, sure we'll just put the specs on the website and let people check it out. Yeah. Love this love this piece, and uh, thank you for showing for sure. Us. Um, yeah. So I just did an album with Grammy winning producer David Bianco. Um, you know, he won an out, uh, won a Grammy for doing Tom Petty's Wildflowers record, which is one of my favorite records of all time, and um, it was a life-changing experience working with him. This is a song off that album called "Ready to Run Again." Running stairs. 
suggest you come tumbling down She cries for help without making a sound And travels far chasing the dragon's tail Been everywhere and nowhere hiding behind her veil Oh, she's ready to run She's ready to run again. Cool. Slatka on tour now. Check him out and uh, come check out the Bose S1 Pro here at Music Villa. Thank you very much. Appreciate yeah. you coming down. It's a pleasure being here. Shoulders strong, but her smile at home.